uh, a year ago today, where I was up in the auditorium right now with my parents, my son Danny was sitting right in the walk. And, you know, all the things that Mr. Mayrose just talked about, I heard him mention his three sons. Now, I had the pleasure of coaching and working with uh, his son Dave uh, on the JV basketball team a bunch of years ago. And I'm going to try to give you just two messages today. One, you are part of a new family. This is the first step to be part of the Samaritan family. And I say family because it is. I look at the people that I've had the ability to work with over the years, the players, the students that I've taught and coached, and I look at many of you. I walk in today, Gerard Rodman, one of my former players, his son's sitting right up here right now. Brian Coleman, his father's one of my best friends, went to school with him from the time I was in Brown School, still very good friends now. And I think to myself, it's incredible to think that I've been part of this community for over 30 years. I came in here in 1979 as a student, came back here in 1987 when I graduated college, and I've been here ever since. And I say family. And Mr. Mayrose said something to you before when he was trying to get you all together. The guys that are sitting next to you right now, many of them we don't know, are going to be guys that become your greatest friends, your teammates, part of your clubs, part of your activities. Guys that one day will be in your wedding party. Guys that you'll be going out to dinner with a long time from now. And you don't understand that. So you right now, which is the day here on a Saturday morning, and you're hoping in about an hour you can get out of here and do a whole bunch of other things that you have planned. And I get that. And I watched my son Daniel feel the same way last year. And then I looked at him now. And I looked at how he's changed. And that's the first thing I'm going to talk to you about. In five or six months since he's coming, I've watched how he's changed. I've, I've watched him grow up. I've watched him become a lot more mature and responsible to himself and to the people around him. I've watched him get involved in things that I never thought he would be involved in before he came here. I watch him in the community, how he embraces severity every day, getting up, getting dressed, putting on his uniform, and, and the pride, the pride that he has walking through that door every day. And he's excited. He's excited because he truly believes that at the end of his journey, three years from now for him, or for you, that he's going to have the chance to go to the college of his choice and go on and have the career that he wants to have. That's the mature. That's the growth. That's the change I'm talking about. You're going to surprise yourself so much when you walk through the doors of September. The first week in school, like every year here, you're going to be unsure of yourself, you're going to be nervous, you're going to be apprehensive, you're going to look bewildered, and in a month from that time, when you start finding your niche, whether it's joining a club, getting involved with a team, playing an instrument, spending time up in the dramatics program, Putting time in the technology center. You will find a niche that's going to change you for a long, long time. I look at the opportunities I have here. I came in here as a skinny, undersized, 14-year-old kid from St. Vincent Ferrer and Flatbush with hopes of one day of making a freshman basketball team. I was fortunate enough to make that team, and three years later, was so, so incredibly blessed to receive a scholarship to go to college for four years. I had the opportunity to watch my son Dylan, who is now a sophomore in, high, uh, in college at Long Island University Post Campus, play for Coach Hepburn, a basketball freshman coach right now. Coach Hepburn's a JV coach. I had the pleasure of watching my son win a city championship 
on the JV level of basketball, playing for one of my very good friends here at school. You're going to change. It's going to be a welcome change. Your parents are going to see it. The teachers are going to see it. Your friends are going to see it. Right now, there are a lot of things that are out there that you don't know you're going to be part of and experience. Change. And it's going to be a good thing. And the second thing I will talk to you about is the opportunities. The opportunities. I've worked in the guidance part. I've been a guidance counselor for the last 17, 18 years. I coach basketball in our program. I have the ability every day to work with students behind closed doors talking about their dreams and their future, about their plans, about why they came here and what they want to get out of here. And every year for me, the greatest thing and the greatest day of our year is when our boys cross the stage at Brooklyn College and graduate and go on to great colleges. Columbia, Boston College, Quinnipiac University, Brooklyn College, St. John's. And I can go on and on and on. And the one common denominator in all those guys that I have a chance to see and work with is that they all started in the same place. They all sat here four years ago like you, thinking about and wondering when it's going to be over so I can go home and do what I need to do. And four years later, they sit in the office and now they make a choice that is going to alter their lives forever. To have the ability to choose the college that you want to go to and go on to do great things because of the opportunities that you took advantage right here at Stanford. I look at myself and say, how did I ever get that basketball scholarship? I look at my son who's five foot six. Coach Hepworth, you know, I can't even tell you, thank him enough for everything he did for my son in confidence he gave him basketball. But at five foot six, this big, came in small than some of the guys sitting right in front of me to go to college on a four-year basketball scholarship at five foot six. Severian High School granted him that opportunity. $225,000 later, okay, he's going to school for free at five foot six. That opportunity is awaiting each and every one of you guys. That opportunity is right there in front of you. If you come here and for four years you grasp it, you take it, and you run with it, you have the choice. You have. You have the chance. You have a dream. Your dream starts in September. Your dream ends four years from now. And being part of one of the greatest families you're ever going to be part of, right here. This is it. The people out of here giving up their time, the complaining, the participants of our activities that come down here on a Saturday morning, got some of the finest guys in the building here. That's going to be you. It's going to be you a year from now. It's going to be you three years from now. Four years from now, and you have that opportunity to go on to a great institution of higher learning, the college. Many of you guys will be back here one day with your own sons. The way I saw George bring his son in this morning, the way I saw Brian bring his son in this morning. I've been so blessed to you in 30 years. Mr. Spellman, not a greater man than I know to Mr. Spellman. I coached him here. I coached him in basketball when he was a freshman. He was all three foot seven, okay? And I had a chance to coach him and watch him. And I look at him now when I'm building. And I'm so proud of what he's done. That's going to be you guys. So here's the deal. You're going to change, it's going to be a great change. 
welcome to change, embrace the change, be excited for it, because it's going to happen. Most of you won't even realize it's taking place. The people around you will see. The people around you will see you grow in and become the men that you will be four years from now. Take advantage of every opportunity that you have in this school. Make the most of your time here. You are blessed to be part of, in my opinion, the greatest school in the city of New York. And I mean that. I believe it. I went here. I have two sons. One is presently a freshman again. One who graduated. I believe it. To me, what this school has done for myself and my family, my boys, we never have it anywhere else. I totally firmly agree. Take advantage of those opportunities. And then the last thing I'll leave you with this in closing. Welcome to this family. It is the greatest family that I know. I spend more time in this building in my lifetime than I do in my house. I spend more time on this gym floor and up in the guidance office than I do in the living room of my house watching TV. You're going to be part of the greatest family ever right here. And this is your first step. I'd like to take an opportunity well for each and every one of you and tell you that you made the right decision. And you will not be sorry that you are a member of Savannah High School. Now and four years from now, when you're moving on with your life. I look forward to working with all of you guys when you get here and walk through those doors come the first week of school next year. I'm so proud to be part of this community, and now I am so proud to have you as part of this community. Thank you so much for your time.